In this video, I'm going to talk about the top five things that you need to have on the defensive side of the ball in order to be effective. These are keys to elite defense, and I wanted to go over just some general principles that I think you can cross-apply to any defense in Madden 23, Now, and actually any defense in Madden in general. Now, to teach this, I'm going to be utilizing the 3-3 Cub out of the 46 playbook. It's the defense that I'm currently using myself. If you want to get my entire 3-3 Cub defensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. We also have ebooks on Nickel Over, 3-3, Dollar, 146, Big Nickel Over, G match coverage, anything that you want to learn on the defensive side of the ball, I guarantee you that the Patreon's probably got it in there for you. So make sure you join it. It's only 10 bucks. The link's in the description if you want to check it out. So what does it take to make effective or be effective on defense? What are some things uh, that are critical? And I think it really comes down to five key things. Uh, the first thing is you have to have a blitz threat. And so as we're setting our audibles in the nickel 3-3 cub, we want to have some kind of blitzing threat. For me, that's going to be this Mike Blitz Zero. It's going to be my primary play. Um, there's some Madden players, some of the best players in the world, some of the best defensive players in the world. They literally run one play all game, but they run it 125 different ways because what they're doing is they're adjusting their play. But they start with some kind of blitz threat. It's the same thing that you're seeing with this LB Blitz Zero out of Nickel 3-3. It's a blitz threat, right? How do we have um, a blitz threat? The second thing is you have to have some kind of base coverage defense. Um, you have to have some kind of way to give your blitz look but have a base coverage defense. Defense. Now, I think you do need to decide this year if you're going to be playing more man coverage, more zone coverage, or more match coverage because you're going to need to set your abilities to actually maximize that scheme. So right now, I'm personally running a man-to-man -man defensive scheme, um, but I've also run zone schemes this year. I've ran match schemes, and I think that there's certain abilities that can help magnify your man coverage or magnify your zone coverage, okay? So also you need to have the ability to stop the run. Like, what is your plan? Uh, how are you going to stop run defense? So the first question you got to answer is, how are you going to give a blitz threat pre-snap every single play? So how are you going to blitz? The second question is, how are you going to adjust your coverage? Um, and we're going to show you kind of a walkthrough here in just a second. The third thing is, what's your run defense plan? And then really the fourth thing is, uh, what is your man and zone blitzes going to look like? How are you going to make everything look the same? How are you going to get stops in the red zone? How are you going to ensure that you're not giving up big plays at the end of the half, right? Um, so uh, that being said, what I like to do here is I like to actually utilize the safety nickelback package, uh, which I've talked a little bit about before, but I want to talk about why it's so valuable um, for our defensive scheme here if you are running a little bit more main coverage uh, if, you, if that's kind of the the direction that you're going with your coverage uh, I think that you're going to really get a lot out of this because uh, this is a little bit more man coverage focused but this will still apply if you are zone and I'll show you uh, how it will apply uh, in just a second so uh, again just kind of setting up so I'm just going through and manually subbing everybody in and out because I want to use kind of a key package here which is a safety nickelback package what this does is you're going to notice that I'm going to get different adjustments for my safeties. As you see here, I can put them in outside thirds. So my base defense is this Mike Blitz zero, right? But I, I'm going to essentially in this example, um, I'm going to send five. That's my base blitz. So that's my blitz threat. So, you know, against trips tight end, maybe my base coverage adjustment would look something like this. And then I know that I've got a user, the running back, if the, if the running back goes on a route. So in this example here, the running back stays in the block. So now I'm free to use her over the middle of the field and you see how good of a blitz this really is. Now, the key to this, though, is we're not going to blitz every single time, but we want to always give the illusion that we can. So now we're going to play some coverage defense. So what we're going to do is we're going to man that left side linebacker up on the tight end. We're going to man that right side linebacker up on the running back to take away that snap throw. And then we're going to put both of our safeties in outside thirds. And then what I like to do is shade my coverage uh, to the outside. You don't have to do that, but I like to. Uh, and then what you're going to do now is we're going to basically play kind of a variation of essentially uh, cover to man, but we're going to be in the middle of the field being able to rob anything and cut any crossers. And I like to take the first crosser. Whoever is the first crosser, I'm going to take that, and then from there I'm going to adjust based off of their tendency. 
So you see that's another way that we can run this defense. Now, the other question we have to answer is, what is your plan if they start running the ball? Well, this defense is really good against the run, so how is it going to stop the run? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to stand right here, and we're going to just use it to stop the run, right? So we've got kind of a, a thought-out plan uh, for how we're going to stop both shotgun and under center runs. Now, how are you going to handle it when they audible, right? So let's say they audible a bunch. Okay, what's that look like for my defense? Do I need to flip my play? No, I don't, but maybe I need to start doing some different adjustments. So I need to have a plan for how I'm going to adjust my defense to the most popular meta formations. Uh, my favorite blitz in the game is this right here because it's a one rat blitz. What do I mean by that? It just simply means that I am the rat in the hole. It's a cover one blitz style, and then I'm the rat in the hole that's usering. Another little pro tip is if you're going to blitz five, then I would put your user on a zone because he's going to react better in coverage, and you don't need to blitz him to get better sheds. However, if you're going to play coverage defense, like let's say that you're playing, uh, let's say that you're playing the coverage defense I was showing you out of this, where we play that like kind of cover three. Uh, cover three man style of coverage defense. Now, if I don't blitz my user, I'm not going to get very good sheds because you need to have three people uh, or uh, technically four people blitzing in the coding of the game, and that's going to allow you to get better sheds. So as you can see right here, I now have three people uh, or technically four people blitzing. Now my user's not going to play as good, but I'm going to get much better sheds. You see, I got a quick shed up the middle and I'm able to get you know some sacks that way. So those are all critical uh, techniques. Another thing along the blitzing line is if they block the running back, how is your blitz going to be? Uh, or how are, how are you going to counter some of their pass pro? Are you just going to drop everybody in, back into coverage? Or are you going to start to send more players? Like, what's your plan whenever people start to do that? One of my favorite things about this defense is if they start to consistently drop their running back um, in coverage, then I can literally take this backside dude and put him in zone. He's irrelevant now, and we're still going to get looping pressure a lot of times against that we weren't able to get it there but uh you will get it trust me so we teach you a little bit more about that in the ebook but those are some of the key principles for how you can go about uh, playing really good defense and then also some of the core coverages that you want to think about um, is this two man that i just showed you where we're basically manning everybody up but we've got two high safeties um, another coverage that's really popular is the match coverage so we can do that out of cover four show two out of this formation so we're able to play match we're able to play man we're also able to play zone um, one of my favorite things to do is to play zone out of man so to come out in man but we're going to turn this into um, you know we're going to turn this into zone kind of like this right here okay and then also how are we going to blitz right so i want to be able to blitz so we can do something like this and now we're in a five we're in a five man pressure so out of one defense or one or two plays, we've actually created several different concepts and several different defenses that we can utilize to confuse the opponent. One of the hallmark principles of defense is you've got to make everything look identical so that your opponent can't tell pre-stab that if you're in man, zone, or match because of all the adjustments that you're making from play to play. So those are some of my big-time tips for becoming better on the defensive side of the ball. If you want to get my entire 46 defensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link is down in the description below.